Hey, it's Faye. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I found a birdhouse at Joanne's this week. Don't. Roasting my dream house. I right like here. this home. It's hey. not a mansion, but it has character because hey, it has hey, a flower. Hey, and I'm gonna paint it. So welcome to day one of that project. No real plan here. I bought the birdhouse I thought it was cool. I thought it was cute. Um, I bought some paint and I'm gonna kind of like design the color palette today and then we'll just go from there. So for materials, I bought three different types of glue just so I could experiment. I kind of think super glue and wood glue are the most promising. I just bought some simple craft paints. I also got different like woodworking tools, mostly because I bought these dowels and stuff. Um, so wood glue is gonna help with that. So let's go. I started by painting the entire birdhouse white. Um, I don't actually know a lot about woodworking, but from the projects that I've seen, usually people add a base coat, so my friend Rachel helped me do that. And then I opened up these dowels, which I guess I'm going to use for roofing and texture. I bought them because they were really cheap, um, not because I know anything about woodworking. So I just kind of like started this process of scoring them with um, these scissors to kind of snap them and then sand them to be soft and smooth. Here they all are. I made an insane amount of tiny cuts. Um, at this point I was feeling pretty good at myself because I don't typically do woodworking. I don't even know if this counts as woodworking, <laughs> but here it is. The spacing of all the little sticks worked really well and I'm glad because I honestly don't know how I would have problem solved my way out of that if they had not met up nicely in the middle. Here's a little more sandpaper ASMR for you if that's your thing. If not, I'm sorry. Here's a base coat for the dowels, which I think ended up looking good. I don't know. I don't know if you would look at this and immediately notice the texture. Probably not worth the work effort, honestly, but aren't most things in life not worth it? <laughs> Yikes. Anyways, okay. Um, now I'm building the balcony out of some foam that I bought, um, which turned out surprisingly well, considering, again, I'm not like really a fabricator. Um, I'm pretty proud of this one. Gotta gas myself up a little. It fit exactly the way I wanted it to, and that was super exciting. Here, at this point, is the mess that I've made, and now we're on to painting color for real. This was a stage that I struggled at a little bit because, again, since I'm a digital illustrator, I kind of forgot that. You need really specific pigments and hues to get the colors you want out of traditional paint. Um, and some of those like neon pinks and greens that I had chosen for my design, I absolutely could not mix from just the regular primaries. Uh, no matter what, how much I forced it, it wouldn't work. Uh, kind of a rookie mistake. So anyways, the colors kind of started to come out differently than I had planned. Um, which will lead to disaster later, but for now, uh, just watch the painting process. I find it pretty relaxing. Hey, this is Future Faye, just dropping in to remind you, uh, if you like the work that I do uh, and you want more art content, you should probably subscribe. You know, leave a comment, like, whatever. Uh, let me know what you think about stuff because I read all my comments <laughs> and I respond to every single one. So, it's like two in the morning, um, and I've hit the point, as I do in every project, um, 
where I wonder why I'm making it and I forget why I even started. I freak out. <laughs> I want to scrap the whole thing or start over. Um, and this happens every single time. So I just know on instinct that I have to push through it and decide what to do next. I had a teacher once who told me that every single person experiences the same kind of doubt as they get like just deep enough into a project that they feel that they've invested time and effort and they freak out because it's like a real investment, you know? Um, and the only thing that makes it feel better is to have the experience to accept that it's happening and be like, the project is still good, the idea is still good, just keep going. <laughs> So whenever I feel this way, I just say, it must be good still. So at the end of day one, I finished all the painting and stuff, kind of to the design that I had originally drawn, um, but I altered some of the colors. It was, you know, it was kind of pastel and cute. And I looked at it and I was like, is this really ugly? <laughs> and so I freaked out, but I remembered something. On the Riverdale video essay that I made like two weeks ago, uh, one of the few people who commented on it was someone who recommended that I watch the CW show The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Um, and I was like, you know what? I've been meaning to do that. I love witch content. Uh, I love teen shows that CW makes. And yeah, so I decided to watch Sabrina because I was like, screw it. This project is not going well. I don't know what to do. So I started watching it. I absolutely love it. It is so campy and cute. And it's all about witches. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> it's August. Basically Halloween. So why don't we make it witch themed? Because my original intention was to make this house a beach house. So I was like, what if it's still a beach house, but for witches? But yeah, concept. Like all my inspiration restored. Um, so yeah. So really hectically, <laughs> uh, I repainted the whole thing to be more witchy, kind of more purples and orange, but it's still kind of beachy. So now it looks like this. Okay, so now you're caught up. Okay, so day two, back to Joanne's already. This is me. Um, I found this tiny wooden lighthouse. And if you know me, I can't resist anything nautical or lighthouse themed. Then I found myself in the fall section and then in the creepy doll section. And then I bought myself some fencing, which was cute. I worked at Joanne's one summer, and I guess Joanne's tip if you want, if you look at florals from the season that was just out, they're usually like 70% off, but don't harass the cashier to give you a discount on some weird random flower you found in the back with no price tag, if you're a good person. Here is me uh, trying this spray on sealant that I found. I'm actually using it for another project later this week, but I thought I might as well use it to make the porch a little shiny. Don't mind the creepy night vision. Um, I was doing all this work at night and I had to spray it out on the porch. Uh, so spraying a balcony on a balcony, kind of funny, I guess. This is the worst part of using paint markers as everyone knows, trying to get the stupid ink to come out. Um, I'm honestly really proud of how this crescent moon turned out. Then I just kind of, you know, Started going wild on it. The one thing illustrators are good at are useless details. So I just decided to give the other roof some drawn on texture kind of to contrast with the dowels that I had added. Um, that I thought turned out pretty cute. Here's me mixing some paint. You see that bit of hesitation there <laughs> before I start. Uh, there's my dog in the background. She's the only one awake at 2 in the morning when I was doing this. And uh, pretty proud of the line work here until my brother pointed out that it looks like the doghouse from the Peanuts. You know, the one that like Snoopy sleeps on top of, um, which he's totally right about. So I don't really know where to go from here. The camera makes it look red, but I swear this is just like really reddish orange. It's more orange than red. Some more details. I bought a gold pen, which looked really freaking cool. Um, and then I used this dry brush technique on the fencing, uh, which made it kind of look more weathered, you know. I thought the shot was just like really in focus and nice, so let's all take a minute to appreciate it. 
Uh, the doorknobs look so much better gold. I was really happy about this. Look how shiny it is. Um, and then I tried to think of like cool things to put on the steps. These were really hard to like find a place to put my hand to draw them, which is why they're a bit shaky. Um, but if you can't tell, these are supposed to be like phases of the moon. Um, and then I kind of just like regressed into squiggly lines. Um, and this is what it looked like with all of the colors and the drawings on them. And honestly, it looks pretty sick. So day three was kind of the fun day. This was like the accessorizing day. I finally cut apart those plants that I had bought from Joann's. I kind of bought ones with leaves that were really small so that proportionally they wouldn't look too out of scale with the house, you know? So like something that was meant to be like a tiny leaf, um, just like in a lapel or something, could then be like a tree in the scale of the house. So that turned out pretty well. Um, I tried to make this thing look like ivy, which I think it like kind of does. Um, and I spent a lot of time super gluing it all into place. There's probably better methods to adhere these, maybe like some kind of resin or something, two-part mix deal. I don't know, I'm a digital illustrator, what you want from me? Now, this is the part you've all been waiting for. I made tiny pumpkins. Shout out to my brother for um, his amazing camera work in the scene where I was making this pumpkin. I don't know, pumpkins are pretty easy, you know? They're a really recognizable shape, just a circle with some creases. Uh, making the stem was a little bit hard, but you know, I think that turned out great. I kind of just alternated them in shape and size a little bit to give them some dimension, some character. So they looked like before I put them in the oven, and this is them toasty right out of the oven. And then I just painted them. Again, I tried to give them a little variation in color, kind of like to keep some element of realism, so there's some greener ones and some yellow ones. Um, and honestly, I think this, if the whole rest of the project had failed, <laughs> um, at least the tiny pumpkins came out really well, and if those were the only things that had turned out well, I think I still would have been happy. So then I just started strategically placing the pumpkins everywhere, and I didn't film the process of me making these tiny props. Um, mostly because I did it really late at night and I forgot. <laughs> but they're all made out of paper and stuff, just stuff I found around the house. I made this broom, um, literally just out of some paper and a dowel, and I just painted a little surfboard. I kind of imagine maybe if there's like a younger witch that lives here, she would use it. So I made some cute little orange and black trimming, you know, to give it like a Halloween vibe. Um, and I used some wire and some paper to make a flag that looked like it was kind of waving and in motion a little bit. And then it was just time to place all the props. You know, I think this is called set dressing. <laughs> uh, I'm not an expert, but I'm pretty sure. My brother had the brilliant idea to put a pumpkin in that little hole in the middle. Um, and honestly, I think that makes the entire piece more complete. So this is the final reveal. This is what the whole thing looks like all together. I am so freaking happy. I don't do a lot of like building things anymore because I'm a digital illustrator mostly these days. So it was super cool to start a project that I was like not really sure how it was gonna go. Um, and then I turned out to really like it. And I think it was really successful. And I put so much work into it. <laughs> um, anyways, I think it's all in the details. I really like the little props I made. So hopefully you guys like it. Leave some comments. What witches do you think would vacation in a house like this? I might do a part two where I like animate some actual characters onto it like a set. So that could be kind of a cool idea. Thank you for following this project. Uh, it took way longer than I thought it would. And like this video made it seem like it took weeks. <laughs> but all together it only took like four days. So anyways, thank you. Follow, comment, subscribe, whatever. Um, I appreciate it because I worked so hard. <laughs> Have a good week, day, whatever. Okay, bye.